Maria Isabel Lopez. Mara was born in California, spent her early years in Japan, and moved to the Philippines when she was eight. Growing up, Mara always believed in one thing. There are no limits to what one can do. When I was five years old, my dad told me to When I was eleven, I first <laughs> Um, they didn't have a competition for kids, so I joined the women's open. So I was fighting against women that were twice my age. And I won! A kid that embraced all sorts of new things. Oh my god. Mara eagerly joined show business. I guess in a way you could say that I was influenced by my mom because she is a great actress. I've been watching her television shows when I was a kid, and when she asked me if I wanted to try acting, I said, yeah. Mara's first project was on TV Kids for ABS CBN. Next came shows like Oka Tokat and Maalaala Mo Kaya, and a memorable role in Jerry Sinanang's afternoon drama, Natutulog Ba Ang Diyos. Sa naman eh. Sana kasi hindi lang ginawa ni Tata yun. Paano na kami ngayon? I enjoy acting and working with other people. For me, acting is my passion. And I was getting paid for it. After doing a few teleseries in ABS-CBN, I started getting into films. Independent films. My first project outside television. It's a film called Santa Mesa, directed by Ron Morales, who is a New York based filmmaker. My character in this movie was a 13 year old girl who falls in love with a little boy. Boy, I'm not here. I don't belong here. Don't tell me. You. Mara took on independent projects, from several advocacy films to Jim Libiran's football drama, Happy Land. Mara's biggest challenge was yet to come, a role that defies the strong and outspoken characters she's typically portrayed. Padita is a Cinema One original feature film that revolves around an erotic love triangle. The film is mainly about deception desire and power. So and music. it follows the life story of three main characters, namely Ramiro, which is played by Malcolm Carroll, Miss Laura, Alexandria, and Lisa. May nakita ako sa kanya is I saw something in her uh, potential na pwede. Na pwede mong pag-push. When it comes to Tamara, there's a certain promise. Palitan involved some very intimate scenes, something that Mara's mother, Maria Isabel Lopez, had to help her with. I told her in the 80s, in like this robe si Mama for the camera, our motivation noon is to titillate the fans, to titillate the audience, and motivation for Mama is to make money. So now, in the life of Palitan, ako ang uh, autista for Cinema One, sabi ko, motivation dito is not to titillate the audience, it's to show um, social political reality. Remember, Palitan is an erotic drama thriller. So, it's very erotic. Natatandaan ko nung nag-audition siya sa akin, tinanong ko siya, how far are you willing to go? Ang maganda sa kanya, hindi siya natatakot mag... Actually, with my actors, Mon Confiado, Alex Medina, and her, Mara Lopez, all of them are willing and they're very cooperative. I just told her to trust your director. Our motivation to do so is to bring out the talent and to be able to do a good film. Mara was able to handle the physical demands of the role. It was playing a character so different from her personality that was the real struggle. Louisa is always sad, depressed, or angry. So every time we were filming, I had to put it in my mind. Character-wise, Louisa is my complete opposite. It was very challenging. After Palitan, Mara is eager to explore more roles. In fact, she is also cast in another Cinema One original, Melodrama Negra. What I want is to achieve more than what my mom has achieved. She's done the amazing.